Hi, I'm Michael Mondragon, graphic designer for NerdyConnections.com. And today we're going to learn the difference between a motion graphic designer and a motion graphic editor. And the two are quite similar, but also quite different. A uh, motion graphic designer will take shapes and text and actually make that fly around the screen, where a motion graphic editor will actually take clips and actually edit that together to make a story. So let's show some examples right now. So I'm actually going to bring that down quite a bit. If I bring it down, I'm actually going to position it where I want it to start. Uh, and so we have that. But if I scroll my video here, it doesn't move. Well, we're actually going to make it move. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the position. We're going to actually going to make a keyframe right here at position. And I like where it's starting. So there's my keyframe. I'm going to move across. I'm going to go to four seconds and I'm going to make another keyframe. Now, if I were to scroll across here, it would not move. But what we want to do is actually at this keyframe, actually move it. And you'll see that there's a rubber band uh, type of graphic right here that actually shows you that is the path is actually going to take. So if I scrub back here right now, I am RAM previewing and you will see how it goes. It's actually going very slow, but it's going to get there. There we go. So depending on your frame rate, that can either go fast or slow. So that's basically what you would do in After Effects as a motion designer. Now, if you were a, a, an editor, you would probably go into Premiere, and I have some clips set up here. And if you look, there's, as this scrolls across, there's some clouds, and I have a second clip here. And if you go here, some more clouds. Now I would take these clips and I would actually put it in my timeline and I can move these and actually I can make them uh, transition together. So now if I push, we actually see, we actually push the space bar and we actually see it actually moving, but now it'll go to the next clip and make the clouds. Now these are clips that now we're going to edit and we can actually put type on them. But a motion graphic designer would actually make something more out of this. It would actually lay uh, the After Effects file on top of it or we can actually bring graphics into it. So, but a editor would actually, it actually more deals with clips. Uh, I'm Michael Mondragon, graphic designer for nerdyconnections.com and I hope that separated the difference between a motion graphic designer and a motion graphic editor.